Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our Force TV. Here's the breaking news. Yes, Chinese and Russian militaries share a potential weakness. Horrible, isn't it? Now, new U.S. report finds China's military leaders share a potential weaknesses that has undermined the Russian counterparts in Ukraine and could hamper their ability to wage a similar war. According to a new report from the U.S. National Defense University, the report identifies a lack of cross-training as a possible actualized hull within the People's Liberation Army, but analysts remain wary of underestimating China's capabilities and warn against comparisons with Russia. The report delved into the backgrounds of more than 300 of the PLS top officers across its five services, Army, Navy, Air Force, Rocket Force, and Strategic Support Force in the six years leading up to 2021. It found that in each service leaders were unlikely to have operational experience in any branch other than the one they begin their career in. In other words, PLA soldiers stay soldiers, sailors stay sailors, airmen stay airmen. Really, do they venture outside those silos, the report said. Nothing to show or contrast to the US military, where cross training has been a legal requirement since 1986. The 73-page report went on to say that this rigidity could reduce China's effectiveness in future conflicts, particularly in conflicts requiring high levels of joint service action and suggests PLA forces would become bogged down by the same sort of problems that have been developed your Russian counterparts in Ukraine where the overall cohesion of the forces was low. Since the beginning of Russia's invasion of its neighbor seven months ago, deficiencies in the Russian military structure have become plain to outside observers in the event. And in the recent route of Russian forces by a Ukrainian counteroffensive, Moscow's ground forces lacked air cover. Analysts say, well, earlier in the world, logistical problem played havoc with Russia's ability to resupply its forces. Its trucks lacked suitable tires for the terrain and kept breaking down from a lack of maintenance. According to the report's author, Joel what no the PLS senior leaders could face similar problems due to their lack of cross-training. Operational commanders, for instance, rarely have career boarding experience in logistics and vice versa, said the report by Watan Rowe, a senior research fellow at the university's Center for the Study of Chinese Military Affairs. Operational commanders who never needed to gain a high level of understanding of logistics or maintenance might fail to use those forces optimally, paralleling another Russian failure in 2022. In comparison of four-star rank commanders in 2021, such as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs or the head of Indo-Pacific Command in the United States, all leaders of the Central Military Commission or theater commands in China, all of 40 U.S. officers had joint service experience compared to 77% of their 31 Chinese equivalents, the report found. It also noted another key differences in the U.S. Almost all the four-star commanders had operational experience. In China, almost half were professional political commissioners. Carl Suchur, a former director of operations at the U.S. Pacific Commander's Joint Intelligence Center at Hawaii, said the new report is the best assessment of where China is at and going that I have seen. But he cautioned against using it as a predictor of how the PLA might fear in a Ukraine-like war as it had numerous other advantages over the Russian military. China gives better 
trading to new recruits and no longer relies on counter scapes, he said, whereas the Russian army relies on seven month <laughs> conscripts for 80 to 85 percent of its enlisted personnel. And unlike Russia, China has a professional non commissioned officer, crops, he added. So, Stuart how now teaches at Hawaii Pacific University estimated that China is about four or five years behind the US in terms of joint operations abilities. But one recent exercise suggests they are catching up. He cited recent Chinese operations like those around Taiwan after US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the Iceland in early August as demonstrating these. The studies Unstated implication that the PLA may be unable to do effective joint ops is misplaced. Susho said. The report by Wantho, who is also an adjunct professor at Georgetown University in Washington, are found demographic differences between Chinese and US leaders. Senior officers were homogeneous in terms of age, education, gender, and ethnicity. The report said, among the four-star ranks, Chinese officers were older on average their own American counterparts, 64 versus 60, and had more years in the military, 46 versus 40. U.S. leadership also more diverse with two women and three African-Americans compared to a homogeneous PLA leadership, entirely men and 99% hand Chinese, the report said. And one final stark difference, 58% of the US officers had served in a foreign country while none of the Chinese officers had overseas experience. Beyond the report, Post TV.